good morning friends today we are going to learn the next part of our unit first history of indian cinema that is the part second talkies in the uh, 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 beginning of the indian cinema there it is called as a talkies not as a uh, cinema why because it is called as a talkies because it is a uh, talking to the or the inserting of the dialogue instead of it is only the motion pictures and without uh, dialogues the movies are called as silent films and now it is about the next part of the indian cinema that is the development in the indian cinema that is the talkies which is developed between 1930s to 1940s what is the meaning of talkie see the meaning of talkie is a cinema film with speech and sound made during the period when the most films were silent so in this way we can understand why the, it is a next part that is the talkie with speech and sound made during the period when most films were silent now the first part we can understand the movie alam ara the first indian talkie adeshir irani released alam ara in 1931 as the first indian talkie on 14th march 1931 irani later produced the first south indian talkie film kalidas directed by h m reddy released on 31st october 1931 jumai shasti was the first bengali talkie chittor vi nag nagaja was one of the first multilingual film actor singer composer producer directors in india he was known as india's paul muni <coughs> when we talk about alamara is a 1931 indian hindustani language historical fantasy film directed and produced by ardeshir irani it revolves on a king and his two wives now bahar and dil bahar who are childless soon a fakir mohammad wazim khan tells the king that the former wife will give birth to a boy latter named komar master vithal but the child will die following his 18th birthday if nawabhar cannot find the necklace he asks for meanwhile the king finds out the dilbahar falls for the senapati adil leading the king to arrest him and invites his pregnant wife who later gives birth to alam ara so it is about the uh, little bit story of alam ara which is a first movie of a uh, talkie next is about the east india film company in 1933 east india film company the company was formed in 1932 by aryal khemka a local marwari businessman in bengali after acquiring the rca photo photophone studio its location recording equipments and mission cameras the east india company company sita made by devki bose was the first talkie shown is an international film festival when it was shown in 1934 at the venice film festival where it won an honorary diploma subsequently bose also made his noted film sonar sansar hindi sunera sansar in 1936 under the east india film company banner shot in calcutta on a lavish budget on rupees 75 thousand east india film company and Sa- sati savitri in telugu was a huge hit based on a popular stage play by malayalam bala bharti sangam samaj the film was directed by debutant c pulai and star sage stalwarts vemuri kg jain and dasari ram lakham as yama and savitri respectively like sita the film was also shown in venice film festival where it too won a uh, an honorary diploma so it produced the first telugu film savitri based on a stage play by malayalam bala bharti samaj the film was directed by c pulai with stage actor vimuri gangai and the sari ram ramathilakam 
the film received an honorary diploma at the second venice international film festival so east india film uh, company which is the first bengali film which produced those films sita devki bos and produced in the and presented in the venice films festival so it is first bengali film production jamuna pulane pulain was released with priyanath ganguly as the director after he left the madan theater riding on its success the company became the first bengal studio to venture into not just hindi films but also various films in south indian languages east india film company was soon producing a dozen movie released per year including several hits like savitri and ramayana in tamil one of the example from it that is the vishwa mohini we can take this example for the how it is created in the this particular film production company in the next part we can learn about this particular movie that the vishmo mohini movie that mohan rao who works for a law firm in madras cheat his manager and becomes the owner of the company though in through illegal means mohan rao is the son of padmanabha's business rival purushottam rao he plans his son mohan rao's marriage with hemalata the daughter of a rich and wealthy widow visalakshi who happens to be purushottam rao's neighbor but mohan rao is not interested in this alliance so it is about uh, the particular film industry and well, the production of those films pushpapati chittor nagai a renowned filmmaker and friend of mohan rao knew seemed to popular actress vishwa mohini lalita devi on the sets of a film shooting vishwa mohini is a daughter of padmanabhan who is cheated by mohan rao mohan rao develops a secret affair with vishwa mohini and expresses his wish to marry her padmanabh is unaware of the fact that mohan rao is the son of his archive arch rival purushottam meanwhile pushpati lures the wealthy vaisalakshi into film production and distribution vaisalakshi loses all her wealth in the process in the twist of fate padmanabhan is shocked to know though hemalata the Mo- that mohan rao is the son of his rival purushottam how padmanabhan deals with the situation and how he becomes aware of mohan rao's criminal deeds and pushpati's alter motive alterior motive forms the rest of the plot so it is about the movie vishwa mohini which is the first indian film to depict the indian movie world particular indian movie world is depicted in this movie in the early history after the early history of the indian cinema so <coughs> it is about the world indian film to depict the indian movie world next is about the prabhas studio in pune that how it is developed and you must know about it that swami kanu vincent who had built the first cinema of south india in Coimbatore introduced the concept of tent cinema in which a tent was erected on a stage of open land to screen films the first of its kind in madras called edison's grand cinema gramophone this was due to the fact that electric car bus were used for motion picture projectors bombay talkies opened in 1934 and if you all of you know the bombay talkies and the second one is about prabhas studio in pune began production of marathi film films meant prabhat film company popular known as prabhat films was an indian first film production company and film studio founded in 1939 by the noted film director v shantaram and his friends it is formed in kolhapur maharashtra see it is formed in our city Maharashtra India in 1929 towards the end of silent films era by the noted film director V Shantaram along with V G Damle Keshav Rao Dahikar <coughs> Dahibar <coughs> S Patelal and S V Kulkarni 
The company moved to Pune in 1933, where it established its own studio and produced a total of 45 films in both Marathi and Hindi over 27 years, including as Kanku, again Swarajya, Swarajya Chetoran, also called Udakar, based on Shivaji's life. So, today the Film and Television Institute of India, Pune, at Law College Road, is situated in its former premises and houses at the Prabhat Museum, which displays artifacts, original contracts and partnership deeds of Prabhat Film Company along with costumes, properties, equipment, poster and stills. So, the University of Chicago has a collection of 27 films, films produced by the Prabhat Film Company between 1932 and 1949. So, it is about the film company which is uh, established in Kolhapur and again developed in region of Pune. Next is about the movie produced by this particular company that is the particular Sant Tukara. R.S. D. Choudhury produced a Vrath which was banned by the British Raj for its depiction of Indian actors as leaders during the Indian independence movement, Sant Tukaram, a 1936 film based on the life of Tukaram, 1608-50, to 50, a Varkari Sant and spiritual poet, became the first Indian film to be screened at an international film festival at the 1937 edition of the Venice Film Festival. And Tukaram, Sant Tukaram, also known as Saint Tukaram, is a 1936 Marathi film produced by Prabhat Film Company and based on the life of Tukaram. So it is a revered, a great Indian film. It was the first Indian film to receive international recognition. It was adjudged one of the three best films of the world at the Venice Film Festival and was showcases in other international film festivals. It was a runway, runaway success and broke the box office records by being the first Indian film to run in a single theatre for more than a year. It was Prabhat's and Pagni's most famous film and became the archetype for devotional film. So, it is about the movie of Sant Tukara. Next is about the movie of social problem film Araitu Bita, which is produced in, the, in Bengali, that is farmer of common origins and farmer Son of the Soil is a 1939 Telugu social problem film directed by Gudavali Rama Brahmana. It is a social reformist film during the period of British India at the time of battle against the Zamindari system. The film was banned by the British administration in the region. Ironically, it was produced by one of the Zamindars of the time. Chalapalli Maharaj. The film had public re-release -re in 1948. So, the next part is about the masala films. That is, the Indian masala film, a term used for mixed genre films that combined song, dance, romance, etc. aroused following World War II. During the 1940s, cinema in South India accounted for nearly half of Indian cinema halls and cinema came to be viewed as an instrument of cultured, cultural revival. The partition of India following the independence divided the na nation's assets and a number of studios move, moved to Pakistan. Partition became an enduring film subject there, thereafter. Partition became an enduring film subject thereafter. Masala films of Indian Cinema are those that mix a genre in one work that emerged in the 1970s and still running in 2020s. Typically, this film freely mix action, comedy, romance and drama or melodrama. They also tend to be musical that include song, songs often filmed in picturesque locations. The genre is named after the masala, a mixture of spices in Indian cuisine. According to Hindu, the Hindu, the newspaper, Masala is the most popular genre of Indian cinema. Masala films have origins in 1970s and are most common in every major film industry in India. Production of these films were minimized since early 2020s. So, it is about the masala films in India. So, next part is about the Indian People's Theatre Association. 
that after Indian independence, the film industry was investigated by the SK Patil Commission. Patil recommended setting up a film finance corporation, FFC, under the Ministry of Finance. This advice was adopted in 1960 and FFC provided financial support to filmmakers. The Indian government and FFC provide financial support to filmmakers. The Indian government had established a film division by 1948, which eventually became one of the world's largest documentary film producers with an annual production of over 200 short documentaries, each released in 18 languages with 9,000 prints for permanent film theatres across the country. So, the Indian People's Theatre Association, an art movement with a communist inclination, began to take shape through the 1940s and the 1950s. Realist IPTA plays such as Nabana <coughs> prepared the ground for realism in Indian cinema, exemplified by Faja Ahmad Abbas Dharti Kelal, Children of the Earth, in 1946. The IPTA movement continued to emphasize realism and went on to produce Mother India and Pasa, among India's most recognizable cinematic productions. So, the oldest, it is the oldest association of theatre artists in India and formed in 1943 during the British rule in India and promoted themes related to the Indian freedom struggle. Its goal was to bring cultural awakening among the people of India. If we take example of Dharti Ke Lal, we can <coughs> understand <coughs> how the first directorial venture of the noted film director Khwaja Ahmad Abbas, K. A. Abbas, it was jointly written by Khwaja Ahmad Abbas and Vijan Bhattacharya based on plays by Bhattacharya and story Ananda, Ananda by Krishna Chandev. The film had music by Ravi Shankar with lyrics by Ali Sardar Jafri named Name Chan Jain, Vamik and Prem Dhawan. So the film was based on the Bengali famine of 1943. If you see or search out for the Bengali famine, we can understand how it is, the movie is based on that Bengal famine, the natural calamity which killed millions of Bengali people and was one of the first films in Indian cinema, social realist movement. So it is one of the best film of presented, which presented the social reality of Indian society at that time. So, in 1949, Dati Kelal also became the first Indian film to receive widespread distribution in the Soviet Union, which led to the country becoming a major overseas market of, for Indian film. So, the presentation of the social community, social problems is one of the major issues in the Indian cinema and it developed the in Indian cinema. So, it is about the second part of the talk is... <coughs> In the next lecture, we learn about the golden age of the Indian cinema.